Dude, this thing was just ripping. Can I just give her a send here, boys? No way. I have a fish. I have a fish! In the rooftop tent, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god, I see him right there. I have him. I literally have him. All right, I have the fish. It's literally at the hole, but I didn't think about this. The iFish Pro is on top of it. So I don't know how I'm gonna go get this. I'm trying to figure this out right now. Um, well, I need something with weight. This. Okay, boys, I'm gonna go get this fish. This is about to be so cold. All right, open this up. Oh God, this is gonna be so freaking cold, dude. Uh, uh, uh. Oh God, she's blowing out here, boys. Oh yeah, we got a Walter or something here. Let's move this. No freaking way, dude. We got a walleye from the rooftop tent. That is freaking hilarious, dude. Look at this. Literally, my line is right down there and I'm chilling way up there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh God, yeah. I literally caught it way up there. That's so cool. Full moon tonight, boys. This could get greasy. You're gonna send him back down? Adios, amigo. Oh, I'm so cold right now. I'm gonna go rebate that real quick and catch up with you guys in a second. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe what we just, that was absolutely crazy. I was just hanging out here, reviewing some footage from the day. And I just, all of a sudden I hear this going. I'm like, oh God. Cause like, it's been going a little bit all night because of the wind, it's blowing my line this way. And it's yanking obviously some of the, the line out. And uh, I could tell it was a fish because it was like that. And I'm like, turn on the GoPro. I caught it, I brought it up to the hole. And then once I got to like the top of the hall, I, I kind of didn't realize like, oh shoot, that's actually kind of like a problem. Like, how are we gonna get it up the hole if the iFish Pro thing's on there? So you have to like put it right here, run down there real quick and then get the fish. But that was absolutely insane, dude. I'm, and like, honestly, what's super crazy, the hole, completely fine. My insulation job with the snow compact onto the iFish Pro is keeping that hole mint. Like there wasn't any snow over top of it or anything or any ice buildup yet. It's perfect. So honestly, all night tonight, I could potentially be catching fish on this absolutely insane rattle reel. That's, wow, that is crazy. But I'm just gonna keep chilling here. And if we get some more fish, I'll let you know. And uh, you know, I think maybe I'm gonna need a midnight uh, little ramen noodle snack or something like that. But other than that, we're just gonna hang out. I also pre-downloaded some meat eater on my phone. So I'm literally just gonna lay here and watch meat eater um, because I don't get any service here. So I don't get to, you know, text people or, you know, watch YouTube or anything like that. So I'm just gonna hang out. See you guys soon.
That would be called some ram noodles. If I've ever seen some ram noodles, we're gonna give it a try here. I'm gonna burn my mouth though, but this is for you guys. YOLO. Hot. That's friggin' delicious. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me make that. I'm enjoying eating it because it is absolutely delicious. And fun fact, um, this pot that I made it in and uh, this little fork here, yeah, these haven't been washed since Montana. So um, if you guys watch those videos, it's kind of gross. But yeah, okay, we're just gonna hang out, eat some ramen, watch some meat eater, and maybe catch a fish. I'm Steven Rennell. To me, hunting isn't only about the pursuit of an animal. Yes, Poppy, that was so good. Whew, I absolutely demolished that ramen noodles, and now that has made me very tired. Let's do a little time check. It is 9.57 p.m., and Rattle Reel has not gone off yet in a while, since that one you guys saw. But I think we're gonna call it a night here. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go outside, check the hole in the bait real quick, like bust it open and make sure that's all good. And then I'm also going to make sure my car is like okay tonight when it's gonna be cold out and stuff like that, lock it up and all that good stuff. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow morning or I'm going to wake up really cold and complain about it to you guys or wake up to a fish on the router reel and you guys are hopefully gonna see that. But honestly, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to go to sleep because this thing is so comfy. Oh, this is a three inch mattress foam. A lot of people say that rooftop tents are terrible in the wind. So we're gonna see how that holds up tonight and we're gonna see how it holds up to the cold. So see you guys later, good night. A few moments later. I was just about to go to bed. This thing started ripping. Got him. I got something. It feels really small. Like really, is this a perch? I got something. I hope he's still on this this part right here like we're putting on shoes and running down there to see what it is that part I need to work on kind of slow hello mr. walleye you are small my guy what are you doing well, just a small little guy. Let's get you back down the hole. It's so cool catching fish on the ice, literally from my tent up there. I mean, that just blows my mind. So that's cool. But I am going to rebate this and go to bed. So let's see if we catch some more fish. Tomorrow. Good morning. Oh, good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is 7.17 a.m. And I'm gonna get up and check the rattle reel outside. I think it froze, so I'm gonna go reset that. Um, maybe set up a few tip-ups and just get the day going here. This should be like a good time to start fishing, so I kinda wanted to just uh, get a few lines wet and see if we can catch some fish, but I'm gonna go do that and then make some coffee because I need some coffee. I'm gonna use the Coletti percolator over there to do that. And I slept pretty good last night, honestly. I didn't really have any problems with the heat. I was warm, um, the wind died down, so that wasn't an issue. And I didn't wake up very many times. I just kind of just fell asleep and did my thing and I'm up now. The rooftop tent on the ice was a success. All right, so we're gonna start by putting our Coletti percolator on the burner, just like that. And then we go and take some water here and fill it to however much you want coffee wise. So I'm gonna do like one of these. Oh yeah. This comes inside of your Coletti percolator, all right? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this top off. Okay, just like that. Then you wanna take a filter and kind of like poke a hole in it and just make it sit in there nice like. So no coffee grounds get in your coffee. Oh yeah. We're just gonna add some coffee grounds now. Oh yeah. 
I like mine a little bit stronger, so I'll put a little bit more. All right, that looks pretty tasty, okay? So then we're gonna take this, cover it back up, just like so, and then you're gonna take your little long tube that comes with it and stick it all the way through. So it should look something like this when you're done with it, all right, as you guys can see. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna stick this back inside of here and close the lid just like that. Then we're going to turn our burner on. All right, we have the heat on. And you wanna put it to about a medium to low heat. The lower the heat is, the better it boils. We're gonna put it on a medium just cause I'm kinda of lazy. I need some coffee right now. And then once we start to see it bubbling in this clear thing right here, we're gonna have to pay attention to it very closely because then we're only gonna wanna keep it on for about four to seven minutes, depending on how strong you like your coffee. So we're just gonna chill right now and wait for this to do its thing. Oh God, boys, she's bubbling up there. So that means we have to go over to our phone and we need to start a timer for five minutes. All right, so once that's over, we're gonna take this sun gun off and it's gonna be time to drink some coffee. I'm really enjoying this rooftop tent camping on the ice. I think it's actually really fun. Like I'm freaking comfy up here. It's so warm. I'm actually fishing up here. Like I caught two fish on this guys, two fish on this last night. That is awesome. I also set out three more tip ups. So I think the rest of the morning, I'm just going to kind of chill, watch the tip ups, watch this. I may even jig a little bit. I'm not sure yet. I got to get back to do some stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I'm having a great time out here and I'm ready to enjoy some coffee. All right, guys, it's been five minutes and she's a steaming right now. All righty guys, it's time for this to come off. We're going to turn this off. Take this, oh yeah. Yeah, it smells like freaking coffee in there, not gonna lie, boys. We're gonna hold on to the top, pour, I believe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That looks like some coffee, if I've seen some coffee. Bruh, that looks delicious. Then I even, guys, I even got some freaking, look at that, coffee mate. This is like creamer that is not liquid. It's not liquid creamer, if that makes any sense. And we are gonna put some of that in here and shake it around and give her a little test. But do you see the steam on this son of a gun? That is crazy, man. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Then I'm gonna put two shots of vodka. And we're gonna close this son of a gun up. And then we're gonna give a little shake. Oh yeah, coffee in the rooftop tent, boys. Whew, we're gonna let this cool down and I'll see you when we try it. 12 seconds later. Oh God, boys, I'm waiting for my coffee to go. Look what's going. Oh God, boys, he's screaming. He's absolutely screaming. TikTok, shut up. Oh my God, this thing is running so fast. Got him. Oh, this feels nice, dude. This feels nice, boys. Oh. Oh God. This is big. This is big. This is freaking big. I'm not gonna lie, this is big. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a giant walleye. It's a giant walleye. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How am I gonna do this? Hold up boys. Hold up boys. Oh my god. It's a giant walleye. I have his head at, I have his head at the hole. I can literally see it right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not good. Oh my god. It's a big. It's a big. Oh my god guys. This is a big, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. How am I gonna do this? Oh my God. <gasps> yes, yes, oh my God. Oh my God, this is the biggest wall I've ever caught. Oh, oh my God, my PB. Boys, I just caught my PB. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at this toad. 
Oh, look at this toad. Oh my God, boys. Yes. This is my PB walleye right there. Oh my God, dude. That is a freaking toad, dude. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you guys can see this as good as me. The, oh, beautiful fish right now. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna get the bump board out. We're going to wet the bump board. Doesn't stick to it. All right, we're gonna get a quick measurement. This is my PB. No, this is not my PB. This is just really fat. It's only a 26 incher, not my PB, but it's absolutely fat as all get out, dude. Oh my God. A freaking tank, man. Oh my God, that, that is so freaking cool. All right. All right, guys, here is a 26 inch walleye. Absolutely fat. We are gonna get this absolute beast of a fish back in the water because I want it to stay nice and healthy. We're gonna hold her here to keep her strength. Oh my God, such an awesome catch. I mean, it fills up that whole hole. So crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. Oh yeah. Bye bye, big mama. I was literally waiting for my coffee to cool down. All of a sudden, rattle reel just starts freaking going. I'm like, I right, bet, set the hook. Felt like a freaking big in and it was a big in. That was the, definitely the fattest fish I've ever caught in my life. That was a 26 inch walleye. My PB is a 28 and a half. It looked way bigger. I thought it was gonna be way bigger, but a 26, that's that fat. <sighs> While rooftop tent camping, dude, it doesn't get any better. Oh my goodness, I'm still like just shaking from what just happened. That is crazy that I just caught that fish, man. I've been working all freaking winter to catch a big fish. This, If you guys have been following along the channel this whole winter, I have not caught a big fish and it's been bugging me. And then finally I come out myself, solo mission on the rooftop tent mission and land my biggest walleye of the year and of 2020. I think that's the biggest walleye I've caught too. If we count last year but anyways yeah it's the biggest wall i've caught and thanks to the coletti coffee that is why we caught it i'm thinking the coletti coffee brought me some good luck so we're gonna give her a little test try here i was gonna do it a little bit ago but this guy started going so cheers boys oh that's extremely hot oh well i guess i didn't expect cold coffee that is delicious. And I mean, this thing was so easy to use. I mean, you just carry that around. You got some coffee in there. You open that up, you put some grounds in there, but dang, you got coffee. I really enjoy it. So if you guys wanna check it out, there will be a link down in the description below for you guys to go and check out. I really think you guys would enjoy it if you guys are adventure junkies like myself. So make sure to click that link and go check it out. But we're gonna sit here a little bit longer. I'm gonna drink my coffee in peace, maybe reel in a rattle reel fish. And then after that, I might actually go outside and start fishing. Just because after seeing that fish I just saw, it makes me wanna catch another one. So I might have to start hole hopping, boys. Oh. Hello boys, we're going back to the old jigging bite. We're gonna see if I can get anything jigging for a little bit. I got my coffee right here via Coletti and we're just gonna vibe out, Let's see if we can catch one. I'm looking and noticing you, noticing me. Watch out, I seen that type before. That girl is so dangerous. That girl is so dangerous. That girl is so dangerous. Yeah. Well, guys, I haven't marked a single freaking thing. So that's what you love to see. But I think I am going to go check my tip ups. I only have two out right now because I took one up since I started jigging. And uh, they haven't gone out this whole this whole day yesterday. None of them really went up. So I'm gonna go check them, make sure they got some bait on them, and then probably go curl back in my ball up in there and just kind of chill for a little bit. But let's go check these tip ups.
12 seconds later. Well guys, I just got done resetting all those tip-offs, so we are Gucci now, and we're back inside the rooftop tent. And I'm gonna bust open a little bit of lunch right now. It's 10, it's actually, what, 10? 10 o'clock, exactly 10 o'clock. On the dot, I'm not gonna stay here very longer. Wow, is that even English? I'm not gonna be staying here very much longer. I think maybe half an hour or something like that. I'm just gonna sit up here and watch the rattle reel and watch the tip-offs and stuff like that. If they go off, cool. For lunch today, we got ourselves a Southwest chicken wrap. All right, let's see about this business here. How's this, oh, okay, okay. I know you guys love watching me eat, so. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. We're gonna sit here in hopes to catch a fish. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. I'm still happy I caught that big one. That made my day. Like, that absolutely made my day. I'm gonna demolish this sandwich, wait for a fish, and see you guys when I see you guys. Well, she's all packed up, boys. There we go. We're good to go. Look at that. We we're all packed up, boys. It took about 20 minutes to put everything inside my truck and get that down. But yeah, the taco's looking succulent. Oh man, kind of bittersweet leaving, honestly. But I had an awesome time the last 24 hours or so. It was awesome, man. This is my first time ever rooftop tent camping in my taco on a lake on the ice and i thought it was a success because i ended up landing the biggest fish for me so far even 2020 and 2021 that's definitely the biggest walleye that i've caught um in a long time and that was awesome that thing was just so fat but thank you guys so much for watching this one if you guys enjoyed this type of video drop a comment down below and let me know i want to know if you guys like this because i will for sure go out and do this as many more times as possible it is starting to get warm weather out so i don't know how much longer i'll be able to drive on top of the ice but if you guys want more videos i'll try to do it and i can also travel around and just camp in this and do some open water fishing maybe i don't know just drop comments down below and let me know what do you guys want to see with this tent also make sure to go check out coletti thank you guys so much for helping out this video they were a huge help and we made some awesome coffee so i think you guys should go check it out in the link below thank you guys so much for watching today's video we will catch you guys on the next one